What's up guys, GK at Corbin's Archery. Today, we're gonna talk about just like the simplest bow basics one-on-one. -on -one. When someone who's never shot a bow, don't know if they have an interest in archery, comes in the shop, this is kinda how we run through it. This is how we teach them. Um, gonna teach you the simplest stuff, stance and the grip and the draw weight and releases and kinda what to do when you're fairly getting into it and you've never done this before. So come along with us, we'll show you the very, very basics, the one-on-one -on -one to archery and see if you're interested in it. All right guys, step one, um, you wanna know your draw length. Um, we're gonna get you measured out, which is wingspan, tip to tip, middle finger across with a tape measure. Then you divide that by two and a half. That gives you a rough estimate of your draw length. Um, also, we're gonna set you out with something a little bit lighter. Very, very good to start out lightweight um, versus when people can't pull back a lot of heavy weight. So we'll look at draw weight. Draw length's also important, but we're gonna get started in that, get you all set up, and then we're gonna put a release in your hand. This right here is called a wrist strap release. It goes around your hand like so. And this clamps on what we call the D loop, which is this guy right here. So that's gonna clamp there, just like so. And then you'll hit the trigger to touch it off. Again, never ever pull a bow back unless there's an arrow in it. That will cause a dry fire. So in order to draw this back, we're gonna put an arrow in it. I'm gonna show you how to knock it, proper stance and grip. So let's take a look at those. All right, so I got my draw link measured. I got the weight, um, even backed it off a little bit, just so for this video, we're starting out very, very light. Don't wanna start out heavy. Um, we wanna be able to actually pull the bow back and shoot it efficiently for the first time, and then we can always increase weight. So, I have my arrow. What I'm gonna do is knock this arrow in what's called the D loop, right here. And then I have a drop away rest. I'll flick that up, and that arrow will sit right there in that rest, just like so. Okay, so, as I run my hand up onto the bow, I put it through this wrist sling. I like to grip it right on the fat part of your thumb side of your hand. You have the love line that runs right through the middle of your hand. You want it on this side by the thumb. You don't want it deep in the palm because that can add a lot of torque. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it right there in my thumb, kind of right on that line. I'm gonna take my release and I'm gonna knock it just like so. Now. Most important lesson, keep your finger behind that trigger. That's our number one thing we preach for the first time shooter. Don't draw back with that finger like that because it can actually go off. So finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. So I'm gonna get my stance nice and square. And then I'm gonna push with this left arm. I'm gonna push that way and I'm gonna pull with my right shoulder and my right back. So it's gonna look something like this. Push, pull. Now, got my arm extended. I'm gonna get my nose on the string. I'm looking through this peep side. And when I'm ready, I'll move that finger on there and then I'll just keep squeezing through the shot. Just like that. All right. Again, the main thing is the fundamentals. We're just trying to get you in doing the right motions and doing the right things. Um, I see a lot of beginners make the mistake of holding this bow in the middle of their hand and death gripping it. Now when I death grip it, see if you can see that line. See how my arm wants to stick out just like that in line of that string? What'll happen is when you shoot, that string will slap you. And you'll leave a nasty weld. So in order to not do that, really lightweight grip pressure, put it right on that thumb side and you'll see right here that my elbow's out of the way. Again, fingers behind the trigger as we're drawn back. Push and pull. And then as you can see there, my elbow is not even close in, in the way of the string. I'm not holding any fingers on this grip. So we're good, we're safe. I'm gonna look through the peep sight, fingers on the trigger when I'm ready, and then I'm just gonna keep squeezing and shoot it. Very simple. Um, there's a bunch of different releases, but we like to start people out on this wrist strap release. Very simple, um, gets everybody kind of in the motion of shooting. There's a lot of different things you can do to the bow, but the most important thing if you're just learning is getting the right draw length and draw weight and just teaching you the proper fundamentals. And that's good grip, good stance, make sure the weight's really, really low so you don't hurt yourself or get tired. We want you to shoot a lot because this is a lot of practice. Um, and we want you to fall in love with it like we have. And it's important just so you can get in the repetition of shooting, shooting and uh, figuring out ways to do it better. And then you can increase the weight and go from there. So fundamentals is key. All right guys, so we just went through the basics. Um, again, very, 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 very important to start off very slow when you're coming into archery because it, it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. But 
This was the basics, this was the fundamentals. This is kind of where we start everybody who comes in the shop and has never shot a bow before. This is kind of how we teach them. Um, it's important that if you have any questions, call the shop. We're happy to answer them, we're here. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to call us. Also, make sure you like and subscribe this channel and hit that notification button so you can see other videos coming from us. Thanks again, guys, come see us.